Well, imagine you're sitting in a cafe downtown and you order your favorite coffee. And while you wait, you sit around and observe the people around you. I wish I had that too. I wish I had my own business. I wish I was that happy. I wish I had that much freedom. I wish. I wish. Those years taught me how comparing ourselves to others can make us feel miserable. But I learned how to turn it around and feel good instead. So that's what I'm here to share with you today. I mean, we compare others outside appearances, money, clothes with our inside characteristics. Oh well, you won't get bored. You will always find someone who has something you wish you had. Copying others means you live in their shadow. You follow them. So here's a question for you. You want to be a follower the rest of your life? Does that make you feel good? Often, comparison comes from a constant lack. A lack of confidence, a lack of love, a lack of self-esteem. We focus on all the things that we want. We focus on all the things that we don't have. And that creates a gap between the ideal situation and where we are now. The bigger the gap, the worse we feel. It's really normal to compare yourself. In fact, it's human nature. Where is it coming from? Well, we learn it in school, as kids. You get your grades back. What's the first thing you do? Oh, how much do you have, and how much do you have, and how much do you have? How about now? Scrolling through Facebook, looking at dream holidays, seemingly perfect relationships, amazing fit bodies, and fabulous achievements. Can you honestly do that without comparing yourself at all? Social media is a way to connect us with each other. Instead, it often becomes a way of disconnecting from reality. The more likes we have, the better we feel. Let's get real here, people. Everyone's life is equally fucked up. Every human being has bad days. But we hide our mess and we show our best. We are fooled to believe other people's life is better than ours. We are fooled to believe the grass is greener on the other side. Real life is real life for everyone. So, enough reasons to feel bad. Let's talk about the good. I have great news for you. That day, that moment, I realized I had to start telling my own story. And I did. And so can you. Just never compare your story with someone else's story. Don't compare your chapter one with someone else's chapter 40. Tell your own story. And for that, be inspired. Be inspired. Look at others, listen to others, talk to others. And from that reality, start growing and learning. Step by step. Easy? No way. Because knowing what I want, not getting it fast enough, for someone with my micro amount of patience, trust me, it's really hard. But I knew, if others can do it, so can I. And so can you. You can do two things. Or you sit back, relax, look at others seemingly doing better, feel really bad about it, give up all your dreams and goals, because really all you can think is, I can't. Or you can look around you. Find others who do what you want to do. Get inspired and create ideas of your own. Learn, grow, develop yourself. Stop comparing yourself to others. Look at yourself. Look and realize all the things that you have. 
all the things that you know and can. Look at others to be inspired. Learn from them. Find out how they can make you grow.